Hey everyone, in this video we'll be looking at the last minute exam tips. The exams definitely crept up and so we really need to be preparing ourselves for the next few days. Firstly, your calculator. Please get on top of this. You want to make sure it's firstly charged and that it's also on the right settings. Charge is obviously very important, but the settings is probably more important. All right, probably not more important, but definitely very important. Go and see your teacher and make sure that they're on the exact settings for what modules you're doing. That's very important. It can change depending on like whether you're doing geometry or, or networks or anything like that. So make sure to be on top of that. As well as the calculator, I always pair that with the summary book. Make sure your summary book's fine. Your summary book needs to meet the VCAR guidelines. Now, you can check this online, but I'd also recommend bringing it to your teacher to make sure that there aren't any small issues that you might miss. If worse comes to worse, bring your textbook in if your summary book isn't going to be allowed, but I'd really try to get that up to scratch just in the next few days. With the summary book, maybe start pasting in any tricky questions you've found from past exams, just to make sure that you've got those answers in your summary book in case anything similar comes up. Now, just generally, in terms of the exam, we want to take it slow. We want to work through it clinically in an order that you've picked up from doing those past exams. By now, you should have probably found a technique that works for you, but if not, maybe ask your teachers for advice. They know you best and they'll be able to help you through it. Be sure to read the questions very carefully. Students are always making mistakes because they haven't read questions carefully enough and they've chosen the trick answer, okay? Make sure to read questions twice if you can and come back to anything you don't fully understand at the end. In terms of calculating, we want to try and approach questions in two different ways if we can. So if there's a method by hand, for example, and a method by calculator, we want to use those two methods, if you've got the time, to try and make sure that we are 100% on what the answer is. Don't leave the exam early. We really don't want to waste any time that's been given to us and any of that extra time can always be used to be proofreading. Maybe go about those questions in two ways. As I've said, if you've got extra time or, or read something over, I always asterisk the really hard questions to come back to if I have extra time. So just be reading over it as many times as you possibly can. And don't fret about your sack marks. They'll work out as I've said earlier, they're only worth a third of your mark overall, and so we can really make up some ground in these two exams. That's about it. Uh, good luck for the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. I really hope you get a mark that you're happy with, um, and yeah, best of luck for the future. Thanks for watching.